Labor Day may have come and gone, but it's still grilling weather in much of the country. So this week, I'm gonna show you how to brine chicken for tender, juicy barbecue chicken. This week on Working Class Foodies. Brining is one of those techniques that can sound mysterious and daunting if you haven't done it before. It's actually a very simple, affordable, and effective way to infuse leaner meats with flavor and moisture, keeping them tender and delicious no matter how you cook them. Cooks Illustrated has a great PDF guide on brining. Just Google Cooks Illustrated Basic Brining. A brine is basically a solution of salt dissolved in a liquid, usually water, although for my Thanksgiving turkey, I like to do two-thirds water to one-third apple cider, but we'll get to that in a couple of months. Most brines also contain sugar to help further impregnate the meat with flavor and juice. I bought four whole chicken legs at my local market. I took them home and washed them, and then separated the drumsticks from the thighs by slicing down through the leg joint with a sharp knife. Then, I put my chicken pieces in a large bowl. Next, I combine three tablespoons of kosher salt and two tablespoons of sugar in a mixing cup. I'm mainly going to use water for my brine, but to give my chicken a little extra flavor, I started with a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. Then I topped my measuring cup off with lukewarm water and stirred everything together to get the salt and sugar dissolving. Pour your brine over your chicken. Then add water to cover the meat. As you can see on the Cook's Illustrated chart, for high heat grilling, you want to use about a quart of liquid per pound of meat. So immerse your food in the brine and then cover. Then refrigerate for at least one hour per pound, but no longer than eight hours. I brined my chicken for four hours. A lot of people will recommend that you air dry your chicken before cooking so the skin will get crispy when the meat's cooked. This means taking the meat out of the brine and letting it sit uncovered in the fridge for a few hours to tighten the skin. But because I was going to be grilling my chicken over a direct flame, I wasn't too worried about the skin not getting crispy enough. So after my chicken had brined for four hours, I rinsed the excess brine from the meat and set my chicken back in the fridge, uncovered, just while I preheated my grill. Fire up a pile of coals on one side of your grill so you have a hot half and a cool half. When the coals are glowing orange and covered in a light coating of gray ash, it's time to grill your chicken. Grill for about eight minutes, just off the flame so the skin doesn't burn. Kind as a Canadian and perfect like a pie. So release that serotonin. Then flip over and begin to baste with your barbecue sauce. I used the leftover barbecue sauce that Lisa from Funny Side Up made for our barbecue ribs collaboration video, but you can use whatever barbecue sauce you like best. After grilling this side of the chicken for eight minutes, I flip the pieces over again. and baste it the other side with sauce than an owl. and let them cook for another two minutes. Then I flip them one last time just to let the skin crisp up and move them to the cooler side of the grill. And cover the grill for about two minutes just to ensure that the meat was cooked through. Your chicken's done when the juices run clear. Pile your cooked chicken up on a plate and let your friends and family dig in. Be sure to serve a little extra barbecue sauce on the side for anyone who likes to get really messy. I bought four whole chicken legs and used homemade barbecue sauce for a total cost of about $8 or $1 per piece of chicken. Even KFC can't beat that. So now it's your turn. I want to know, have you ever brined meat before? How'd it come out? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to sign up for our newsletter and subscribe to our new YouTube channel. And if you want to watch more videos of us grilling or cooking with chicken, just click any of these boxes below. And we'll see you next week. Click. Come on, guys. Click them.